Hi guys, Sarah here. Today we are gonna be doing a dustpan pour. Welcome to my channel. We're working on a 16 inch by 16 inch canvas and we are gonna be doing a dustpan pour. We're gonna try and recreate one of my earlier pours from years ago with a beautiful Payne's gray Prussian blue base using a dustpan and various colors over here. I have gold, cobalt blue by Liquitex Basics. I have Artist Loft Black, and I also have Aqua Flash. So we are gonna be using these colors here and layering them with my white, which is two parts Floetrol, one part Artist Loft Soft Body White with a couple of scoops of the good old Deco Art Americana Satin White. Um, or I'm sorry, satin enamel and pure white. Uh, so pardon the mess on my table, um, but we are going to start this off by flooding the coat uh, for the base, and then we're gonna layer up a 16 ounce cup. Now we are not gonna need to fill this, um, so we'll probably fill it to here, and then we're gonna put a ring pour right in this lovely dustpan. Some might think it's a shovel, but that's not the case. Um, this is actually, I'm assuming, some kind of European dustpan because Red Decker sells it as a dustpan, not a shovel. It's a dustpan. So um, we are going to be using this because this is what I typically pour out of. Um, and the reason why we're doing these is because I'll be teaching this technique at PourCon in Las Vegas, August 6th through 9th. Uh, you can still get your tickets, so please click on the link below. It's going to be an amazing time, and uh, we're all really looking forward to meeting everybody who has signed up. Um, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so my voice is a little hoarse, but we're just gonna ignore that for now. We're gonna flood the base coat right onto this canvas. Gonna do it sweet Kathleen style. And we're gonna go from there. We're gonna come back in just a moment with this completely coated. All right, so we have the base coat down, and I just love this Payne's Gray mix here because it's gonna dry so dark. And we're gonna start layering up this cup, and we're gonna start with a little bit of white. Actually, I'm just gonna go like this. I hope you guys can see it. I'm gonna come in with some gold. I, this is the 24K gold. I'm gonna follow that with the Prussian blue. I'm sorry, that's cobalt blue, I apologize. Come in with black. A little bit of gold. Bright aqua, nope. Sorry about that, guys. I'm so used to like bright, bright aqua green. This is the aqua flash, the cobalt blue. I'm gonna get it together here in just a minute. I know I am. <laughs> All right, we're gonna come in with the white. And some gold. Aqua flash, there we go, I got it now. Some of the black. Cobalt blue, and followed with the gold. And the white mix. 
And let's come in with the cobalt blue again. thinking this is probably going to be enough. So let me follow it up with a little bit of white. I would fill this whole cup to do a 24 by 20 or a 20 by 20. With this one, we are not going to. So I want to do that first. Get rid of that gold. I got a little drippies on there. All right. Let me get this out of the way. Let's see. We can start right here. We're just doing a ring pour. We're just gonna end it just like that. And I'm gonna turn it around because I'm right-handed. We're gonna come off of, I gotta put a little bit of white on here. I don't want it to stick on the metal. Okay. So we are gonna come off this edge. Let's just get all this. I love the design in the cup. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll go, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. You can go either way that you want. There we go. And we're just going to let it go off the side for now. Get this out of here. I keep getting a gold little dot there. And I don't want that. It's from the deco art getting in there. All right. So I'm loving what's going on here. I'm gonna tilt it this way. It's a little muddy over here, but I'm, I expect that because their gold was up against the bright aqua or the aqua flash for that matter. There we go. We're gonna come, nope, not yet. We're gonna realign that. All right. I'm gonna come all the way back. I'm gonna go off this edge. Oh, I love this. I'm like trying to figure out <laughs> which way I wanna go. Um, I think I'm gonna go right off that. I love this. Um, these are like so very cool. They remind me of Salvatore Dali. Um, but let me just patch up those areas there. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I'm wondering if you can come in with 
this corner bit here I really, really love. So I'm gonna see if I can get it to come out and play. Yes. Well, I just mucked it all up, huh? I didn't even notice that other drip was coming off. I'm gonna come in here with some of the base. That's gonna dry awesome. So there are a bunch of air bubbles, but I did just mix up all of my paints. I'm gonna come in. love that kind of looks like little feathers all right so this is done I did not layer the cup the same way I layered the first one but that's all right um, I'm sure you guys can see it but let's bring you in either way oh this is the final piece doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's going to be so beautiful when it dries, which is the exciting part. All right, you guys have a great day. My orientation would be this would be the top. So let's just flip you around here so you guys can see what I mean. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, so that would be the way I would hang it. Um, I really love how it balances off the negative space on the bottom. And uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, so I love the end dried results of this piece. And it's really wonderful because the Cobalt Blue uh, by Liquitex mixed with the um, Green Flash by Folk Art and it created this beautiful electric looking blue area and it kind of glows. So I'm really looking forward to um, varnishing this piece and I love how dark this background is. I'm super happy with the results and we're gonna play with a couple more dustpan pours in the next couple of videos. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Don't mind the background. I've got a lot of stuff going on. We're in the studio. Um, but you guys have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and uh, go from there. All right. Bye for now, guys.